Yeah, that's right. You're in the oh, camera. It's all working. It's all walking. It's all walking. Gap Road Cemetery. Here we go. Oh, it goes over there as well. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got some guests with me today. I have Charlie and Kathleen, <laughs> who've just joined me. We've spoken on Facebook, yeah. it? and we've just been on my tour at Wimbledon Theatre, which I've got another one at 6.30. But I've got a big gap between. I've got, they're both psychics, which are, you're okay for me to... Yeah, both yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to walk around the uh, cemetery here at Wimbledon, Gap Road uh, Cemetery, just see what, what we can pick up on. I mean, we, don't, we all think it's everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we'll have a look and uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having us. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> thank you. is going to take a picture. She loves angels. We love the stone angels. It's absolutely beautiful. I love them. It's Gap Rose Cemetery, guys. We've got, yeah, two chapels we're going to have a look at in a second. Amazing. The angels and the sculptures, they really captured. <coughs> The actual motion and feel of everything as well. Yes. It wasn't just, hey, let's make a building here, mm. let's make a stone. It was just, well, we, they captured something more. That's a good point. We live in such a sort of throwaway society. Yeah. yeah. These things were built to last, you know, made out of yeah. stone. You can almost Absolutely. imagine, I mean, I can clear my head, the, the horses and carriages coming up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Which I'm sure they still occasionally do with a decoration, if it's a, 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 a yeah. thing. I love these. Yeah. It's a lovely symmetry. I only knew this was here like a couple of months ago and I've been working in the area for 20 years. Well, people have said also this place feels a bit eerie. I think, well, it's a cemetery. Why would it not feel eerie? Yeah. Um, I bet a dusk in here is super impressive. Yeah. Like with the different, oh, you know, the hand yeah, yeah, light yeah. would sit on the stones and there. Absolutely. Let's have a look at this one of the chapels. So there's two chapels here. Yeah. Uh, this is opened in 18, I think 1878. It's 20 acres. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look. That one there. It's lovely. That is lovely. It's really nice. Yeah, Charles is getting, getting excited again. Getting excited again, yeah. the old chapels. I'm not seeing them, but you just know, you can feel it. Mm. They're all around you. It's always all And they're around, always, yeah. we're, we're curious about them. The reason they're around is because they're curious just about us, curious as well. about us still as well. I've got a yeah. bit of a head. I've got a bit, one of my, what I call my heads. Not headache, I don't get headaches, but yeah. this flat, oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. you can just feel it. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. Definitely feel it. Definitely. Beautiful. My new psychic friends are picking up something, but is it by that tree yeah, over there? Yeah, definitely there's something yeah. in this direction. By the way, guys, we're here in total respect. Before yeah. you say, oh, why yes. are you picking up things in a great... No, we're here. You no, should know me. Here. If you, those who know me know I'm, I treat oh, yeah. this very, very importantly and respectfully. Yeah. And we're the same. Wherever we go, if we do make a connection, it's always out of love and light and respect. And exactly. Yeah. We're not here for any other reason. We don't do negative. No, no. I only do positive. Unless I stub my toe, then I go. Oh! <laughs> so it's this one here, this tree here. Mm. Lovely tree. Mm. Give me a second shot as if someone's, mm. someone here has had a tragic death. Okay, look, you're getting these. Look. More, more, yeah, more European Polish. names. Mm. Yeah. There is a child by this tree, and that's what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. It's a little girl, and she's over there by that tree. Um, she's. So I just think there's something tragic. Yeah. I mean, the child, she's about. I'd say about seven or eight. Um, Just by this tree here. Yeah. It's kind of strange because I don't feel like she's sort of lost or anything like that. It's almost like she actually feels comfort in this area, like somewhere here. I don't know if her family's nearby. Um, yeah, can, she's by the tree over here. Can you see her, Mum? Is it your energy or spirit? I can't. I can't. 
see the way you do it. I feel. I can feel. I need to. I can really feel. Someone here, please. Side, isn't it? Yeah. The heavier, can you come and see if you can feel that? Yeah. Is it, is this side I saw, when we were over her. here, mm -hmm. I saw her at this side of the tree. Um, right, here's a question I ask all my psychic friends. When you say you see them, how clearly do you see them? Is it full, three-dimensional, or is it like a shimmer? Yeah. For me personally, when I say that I see spirit, it's not like I'm looking at you guys now with my physical eyes. I see with my actual eyes, but then there's an overlay. It's like another third image over the top, yeah, yeah, like a third eye. So I see something or someone else there in a slightly, not a sort of, a, not a stronger sight, but there's somebody there, like an overlay on top of what I see with my eyes. Okay. That's the way I see. Right, that's interesting. Yeah. That's you interesting. see, I, I, see I feel it. That's yeah. why we work together. We've both got different um, ways of sensing. Ways of, of sensing. Yeah. But I, when I, I, I do see stuff, it's like I see black and white movie. Mm. I see okay. it black white, mm -hmm. but yeah. I don't see the way you see, mm. but I feel I always get the yeah. the feelings, mm. that's what I get. Interesting. So uh, everyone again, knows me. I, I... See, to me, it's the energy of the place, isn't yeah. it? I mean, if you think you're in the graveyard, there's always been a lot of tragedy around some of these deaths. And lots of people missed them. So that's going to be in the atmosphere all the time. Yeah. And, and, and That's even my though, question, wouldn't that have been with where the incident took place as opposed to being here? They're just cadavers, aren't they? They are cadavers, but uh, yeah, I suppose if you look at it that way, but I still feel that some people who die very suddenly, very tragic the deaths... The energy follows them around. The energy yeah, follows absolutely. them around mm -hmm. because they can't be content because of that sudden mm -hmm. death. They still haven't been able to go to the next realms. I've always said why you don't see sort of, um, you don't see the ghost of a, of a caveman. No. Or an answer. I reckon it's like a jet, jet light, you know, when you see the um, jet fuel in the sky, it yeah. dissipates over time. The yeah. energy maybe dissipates yeah. over time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But because yeah. if this is a working cemetery and there's still people being buried here, mm. then there's always going to be that constant flow of energy. Yeah. yeah. Around. But it is because when you die, your soul becomes energy. Mm. And that's why we're able to connect to those energies. Mm. We're not talking to dead people. We're connecting to an energy. Their essence. Their energy Their essence that was here and the energy that's all yeah. around us at all, yeah. all the time. Because everything is connected. We know physicality is the lowest form of vibration and frequency, yeah. the physical realm. Mm -hmm. And quantum proves that. Yeah. Um, there's so much more going on, which I say a lot of scientists now are really waking up to. But the oh, problem yeah, in the past is that certain religions and governments and things like that, where people had all these different abilities, they put those abilities down out of fear because of course, witches. if everyone Made starts using yeah. the powers, then these some of these big churches become extinct, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you get oh, she's oh, look at that. It's a lovely one, isn't it? Oh, look at her face. It's so real. It's beautiful. Doing essences and things like that. There'd be none of this fight in the world. Book of Enoch and yeah. the things that were removed from it. Because they didn't and I'm an angel energy practitioner as well. Um, so I'm sort of trained to work with, you know, the archangels. And there's a question. That's yeah. a Christian way of looking at it. If you yeah. call them archangels, exactly. Can't this be beings? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What actually are they as well? Are they just energy and or are they just names that people have just put to what they maybe can relate to in seeing thing, mm -hmm. it as an angel? Um, I just like the idea of you know, working with the angels and the energies. But again, is that just spirit? Is that just is Good it all the same yeah. thing? And we're just terming it in different ways? It's all, yeah, terminology, that's a big problem, isn't it? We're all saying the sort of... Everything gets a bit of a Christian makeover. Yeah. And we're trying to, I try to avoid that and have a different language for it. Mm. As I say, I don't say heaven, I say source energy. Yeah. Universe, like you say, say universe. universe. I love that universe. Yeah. Quantum field. 
of J.D. Spencer, I like to call it. I like the yeah. Compton Field. Yeah, that's good. I like that too. We'll have to look that up because I feel like... You say there's a monastery. You felt it was a monastery here, I once. really do feel yeah, no there would have been I mean, monks. I don't, I've not come across any information, but I'm it is an ancient it. settlement. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to check it out because I can see, um, well, in my mind's eye, like, especially over there, monks looking after some sort of produce or... I'm sure there's an abbey. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, let's home. check that out. We'll I really do think there's an abbey around here somewhere. There has been an yeah. abbey. So, yeah, I just got that sudden feeling because I saw monks over And you there. mean on this site? On, on that this site, site, on this site. So, yeah. somewhere around there. It's a nice gate over there, actually. Yeah. Actually, we'll, we'll walk over to the other chapel and then go up. Yeah. That one, it looks really nice. Yeah. And some of the um, Incan and Mayan places as well will do later. Yeah. Definitely. Have I watched? The Graham Hancock series. That's, uh, I love Apocalypse. Graham Hancock. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I did a reaction video to Ancient Apocalypse and he'd just been on the Joe Rogan experience yeah. four days ago with the archaeologists who wanted he wanted to de debate with. And that's four hours long, so I'm going to watch that soon. Yeah, I love yeah. Graham Hancock. Because he's definitely got it right. I've always thought myself that something before our time or, or from where we've documented history yeah. that something's missing Subject and this. he nailed it yeah. in that show and I was like how can people Graham not Hancock is, realize is the there's more yeah. there was more something is missing in our timeline mm. in our history mm. there's definitely something we're only 200,000 years old yeah. modern society is, is only like really. established 8,000 yeah. years old it's more it's much more than that yeah much more than that that program just nailed it for me yeah. blew me mm. away because i was already thinking that in my own mind with my own research mm. and things i've sort of looked into and it made absolute sense didn't it yeah absolute sense mm. all, the, yeah. all the archaeologists get up in arms going well right fair enough they're archaeologists <laughs> that's their profession and i listen to them as well oh yeah always that's their profession ones. but yeah you no know, just think a little bit outside the box the end well, folks, I'm going to have to say, I've got to head back because I've got another tour to do at the theatre. Yeah. Charlie, thank you. Thank Kathleen, you very thank much. You. Well, thank it was you. a fascinating chat. <laughs> uh, you know me, I like anything to do with the paranormal, so um, as a slightly sensitive person myself to certain energies. <laughs> but if you have enjoyed this little video around uh, the Wimbledon Cemetery, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, as we say, yep. on that, that there YouTube. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.